Just kidding, y'all. Not a big booty yet. But I'm here back in the kitchen where I belong with another cooking video. And tonight we are having penne a la vaca. I hope I said that right. Penne a la vaca. With some breadsticks today. And this is going to be a quick meal. Again, you know, we are keeping everything very simple, very quick, especially if you have to do other than just being in the kitchen all day because it is not Thanksgiving. We're gonna make sure we're eating good, eating at home and not eating fast food all the time because that's not healthy for the skin. You gotta eat at home. Home cooked meals make you glow, make your skin pop. You see? Y'all see that glow? It's because I'm eating good, y'all. Eating good. But I am ready to make this panela vodka. I've been having a taste for pasta. You know, bringing my inner Italian. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing that right, y'all, though. So, for the ingredients, we got vodka. Mm hmm. Make sure you take a shot of that, too. Some breadsticks. Got some chicken breast. Because we're going to use meat in it as well. So, it's going to be like a chicken penne a la vodka, if I said that right. My penne noodles. Heavy whipping cream. Tomato sauce cheese and then some seasonings as well to make it flavorful if y'all ready to see how i do it let's get started and let's go make some dinner okay okay we trying to be in the kitchen now who said hot girls are outside we in the kitchen that's why you can't find us we in the kitchen we're not really outside in the clubs we making food So guys, when you get in the kitchen, make sure you are washing your hands. That is very important. That is the very first step. And then I'm going to be boiling my water for my noodles. As you can see, I'm filling it all the way up. And guys, I am grabbing some oil and some salt. When you do have pasta, make sure you have a lot of salt and some oil because that is just a necessity. After I do that, I'm going to go start my stove. As you guys see over there, what I'm doing. Then I'm going to take the chicken out of the packet. Guys, wash your meat. I don't care what anybody says. Wash your meat with some lime vinegar. I just ran out of limes, but it's okay. Look at the seasonings, y'all. Chicken bouillon, adobo, garlic powder. Then I have some onion powder for you guys. Italian seasoning. Bay leaf. Favorite basil. And then after that, we have some black pepper, some crushed red peppers. We don't like no bland food over here. All about the seasonings, okay? Anyway, my chicken was marinating in that water and vinegar. Time to wash it out, pat dry it. And after I do that, I'm just going to lay it right on my cutting board, as you guys can see over there. I'm going to cut it kind of like in the middle, just because I want to make my chicken stretch. That's how you make chicken stretch. Cut off a little bit of the fat. Thank God this chicken didn't have much fat. So I didn't have to do too much. Then I'm just cutting this up into bite-sized pieces. So that, you know, we have enough to make it stretch for the family. And so that it can last for about like two days. Guys, cutting meat to me is just so satisfying. Like, look at that. Nice, perfect, delicious it's just doing its thing. The water is boiling. So now it's time to put in our penne pasta inside the water. Ooh, look at that. Make sure you give it a good stir so it's not sticking. And close the lid. Leave it alone. So guys, don't be like me and let the water over boil. Like, I was so disappointed I had to clean that all up. What was I thinking? Anyways, it's time to season our meat. I'm the type of person who loves lots and lots of flavors, so I can't really tell you what I use for my measurements. I just stop until the Lord tells me to. I have been seasoning like this since I was, I don't even know, when I started cooking, and I'm going to keep it that way. I love lots of flavor, and, you know, my taste buds are very, very expensive. Give it a good mix so the seasonings can mix all together. Now it's time for us to drain our noodles. Oh, look at that steam. So after that, I like to make sure I give it a good stir, shake it up so the water's all drained. Guys, I like to put oil on my noodles so it doesn't stick. Mix it up, and I like to season up my noodles because I like my noodles to have flavor. So I use pepper, Italian, and basil. Just to give it, you know, that extra hint that it needs in the noodles. Oh, Mr. Noodles! 
else anyways y'all when you are cooking make sure you are cleaning like i was just raised to cook and clean like it's something you have to do you can't cook in a dirty kitchen girl you is getting thick look at that booty anyways now it's time to put the oil in the pan for our chicken i like to make sure i get the pan covered in oil so my meat doesn't stick too much and then after it's all heated up, I needed a little break because, guys, it was mad hot. I was like, this is taking a minute. I need to make sure I have a little sip of wine, Stella Rose. I know if you know and you be cooking, you need your wine break. Anyways, guys, look at the chicken. I'm mixing it all up. It's looking really good and smelling good. And then I decided to try the chicken to see if it had enough flavor. And to me, I needed more seasoning, just a little bit more. Not too much, but, you know, I just needed it to be like, yeah, this is right. Once I got it to the right flavor, I decided to put it on a plate and put it on the side. So my seasonings was sticking to my pot, so I had to make sure I give it a good scrub before I start putting everything together. Now it's time to make the sauce, put the oil, and then after the oil, I like to put a stick of butter. Make sure it's melted before you add your tomato sauce or tomato paste. I didn't have paste, so it is what it is. And that baka, you just pour until your heart says stop. After that, I like to add the heavy whipping cream, mix it all up. Then after that, I like to add the mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, make it all cheesy, you know put some seasonings because we need to make sure our sauce has flavor as well not just the meat and the noodles so i'm just adding everything that i needed the same that i use for the chicken the only thing is i added crushed red peppers and then i wanted to add more cheese because it just wasn't at the right flavor i wanted yet it's all about the flavor and what you like and your taste for me i need lots okay we're not playing over here Guys, my arm was hurting. I was stirring and stirring and stirring. When I tell you this cheese was getting stuck, I was like, dang, this is annoying. You guys couldn't see it on my face, but let me tell you, my arm was tired. Now it's time to add our noodles into our sauce. Mix it all around. Then I wanted to add my chicken. Ooh, I could smell it right through this screen. Look at my noodles. Then I decided to heat up the oven so that we can have our garlic bread. Guys, my family came in. I'm almost done cooking. But my sister doesn't eat meat, so she just got the noodles with the sauce. Give us your honest opinion. Girl, you're going to be looking crazy. Move out the camera. <laughs> Save her. Save her. Who's CPR? Who's CPR certified? Who's CPR? Let me see your key. And that was my master plan. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I licked all over them, as a matter of fact. I licked the noodles. Oh, we don't know where that tongue been. Let me get some more. Just kidding. Oh, you're such a pig. <laughs> I'm just waiting on the <laughs> garlic sticks right now. <laughs> so. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm She learned from the goat. You heard. Yeah. No, it was not a good job. It was, good. Last, it was definitely an improvement from last time. Okay. Okay. Look at you. Okay. Yeah, it is oh, good. thank you. Thank you. It is good. I broke yeah. my diet for this girl. Ooh, shake it like it's hot now. Shake it like it's hot now. Shake it like it's hot. Shake, 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 shake it like it's hot. Shake, shake it like it's hot. Shake, 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 shake. So, guys, I decided to put that garlic bread in. As you can see, it's looking nice, and it was ready to pop out. Guys, the finished product looked great. Really eating, guys. Like I said, when I cook. I just get so full because I'm trying the food in between, but I got my garlic bread and my pasta. I have my family try it, they like it. So let's see what the chef has to say. Gotta get some chicken on here. You did that for him? Ooh, I feel my butt get thicker. It's actually really good. I'm not saying that because I cooked it. It's just really good. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Peppers in there a little bit. You know, it has a little bit of a kick, but not too much. Not to me. It's good. Mm-hmm. 
Your girl be in the kitchen, 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 kitchen. Mmm. I love bread. I feel it. I feel it kicking in. And I cook and I clean. So who's gonna give me this ring? Yeah, I like that, didn't you? Yeah, I did it by myself. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video while I was cooking. Let me know if you guys have ever made penne alla vodka before. Bring out your real Italian in. Because this was my best penne alla vodka I have ever made in my life. I made it before, but this was the best. Probably because it had real vodka. It just gave us something. You know? But, as you guys know, I always end this video with something motivational. Something very different. Something very much way. And I just want to wrap it up by saying dream, but God has a plan and his plan is bigger than your dream. I'll see you guys later. Watch more of your girl Quay. Quay, enjoy the rest of your day. Later.